The lady of NXT is here. Set up straight, Saxton. Okay, I am, I am. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Paris Island, South Carolina, Lacey Evans. A former Marine who trained in NXT while raising her daughter, Lacey Evans, is ready to grab the spotlight. Well, Lacey Evans has an incredibly impressive resume. I just don't like how she looks down on everybody. Well, she's better than you, Saxton. What would you expect? That is true statement. She's beautiful, she's dangerous, and she is as classy as the day is long. The statistician for Titus Worldwide. And her opponents. First, from Cleveland, Ohio, Dana Brooke. Tremendous athlete, great competitor. Dana Brooks, certainly one of the hardest workers in the women's division. Always trying to learn new skills and techniques to better her game. You have any great stats on this match tonight at NXT for Dana Brooks? Yeah, 60% of the time, Dana Brooks' statistics are right every time. And what exactly are these statistics? Well, it depends on the situation, Byron. It's not like she just pulls these facts out of thin air. There's a lot of research. There's development. There's studies involved. Hopefully they come with a fact checker. The irresistible force. And from San Diego, California, Maya Jax. Hey, whenever Nia Jax enters an arena, whenever Nia Jax enters a match, everyone takes notice of the dominance that this woman is capable of. She's beautiful, she's powerful, she's dangerous. It's like a million dollar smile on a wrecking ball. Nia Jax is the irresistible force to be reckoned with. Here comes the Queen. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Back at NXT, Charlotte was part of a group called the Four Horsewomen with Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. Wow, has Charlotte evolved from those times? Many believe, Corey, Charlotte is the greatest of all time. When it comes to history, making moments, capturing championships, and excelling inside the squared circle, nobody does it quite like Charlotte Flair. And you can see the respect from the WWE Universe for Charlotte. What we're gonna see here is so much damage to the neck. What a strike. We're gonna see. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh guys, there's the mat slam with some attitude. Oh no. Look out. There she goes. Oh. 
Oh, what impact! Ooh, what impact! Bang! Hooked up. Big time! Dana Brooke may be in a bad way here. And she's got three sets of eyes on her, which makes this match incredibly challenging. Well, she certainly seems to favor being outside the ring. Oh, wow. Though for the life of me, I cannot figure out why. Yeah, but I feel pretty confident in saying that she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. Oh! Wow, look at the quickness by Lacey Evans. We can also see a fatal four-way tag team match, which means 16 superstars are participating and one from each team is in the ring at the same time. Similar to a fatal four-way with one very interesting twist. A superstar can be tagged in or out by any other legal man in the ring, not just your tag team partner. What a stomp! Good grief! Byron, earlier you brought up the 16 Superstar 4-Way Elimination Tag Team Match. It goes without saying that the match is quite the scene before the bell even rings. Something else I'd like to include is that in the Fatal 4-Way Tag Team Elimination Format, once a Superstar gets eliminated, their tag team partner is eliminated as well. That's what got the shoulders down. And Dana Brooke quickly kicks out. Not yet. Dana Brooke getting in her opponent's head. The smartest thing a young star can do is learn from a veteran. And Charlotte has the best in the wrestling business. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair. If you're lucky as a rookie, you can bend the ear of a trainer or a visiting legend for a few minutes. But Charlotte has had third cover here. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Oh, what a right! Man, that's some attitude behind it. Oh, what a... Corey Charlotte's knowledge of the game is limitless thanks to Rick. When you're learning from the Nature Boy, it's like an advanced class every day. Imagine having Flair DNA to start. Then you add the wisdom of Ric Flair and the sky is the limit. She's already Hall of Fame worthy and she's only getting better. You gotta believe this one's over! She's getting trounced now. She may not be able to go on much longer here in this fatal four-way match. Well, her chances certainly are looking bleak right now, guys. But as long as she's breathing, I expect her to fight. That's just the kind of competitor she is. There's a mistake I've noticed that a lot of superstars make in a fatal four-way match. They check with the referee to confirm that the referee counted two and that it was not a three count. Sometimes they argue with the referee. In a fatal four-way, if you take the time to argue with the referee about the call, somebody's going to attack you, and it's going to be too late. Corey, I have to agree with you on a point you made earlier. Sometimes superstars get into a war of words with the official about if a pinfall attempt is some good technique right there. She is on fire. This might be it. Oh, my. And set a harsh impact. Ah, uh, Dana Brooke wants to fly. Matter of touch. Charlotte taking complete control of this match. Should be tough to stop the Queen. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Not so fast. Looking for a repeat. I don't know how much more Nia Jax can endure. Clearly, momentum is not on the side here in this fatal four way match. We're about to find out what she's made of here, guys. She's beaten and battled. Oh, man. That looks like it hurts. Warm up the bus. This one is over. We got a cover. One. Dana's feeling good, and the crowd is eating it up. Look at the quickness by Dana Brooke. And look, it hung up on the sec. Get in there, ref. And Charlotte was able to get out of danger there. Lucky for her. Look at the quickness by Dana Brooke. Incredible agility. Nailed it. Dana Brooke setting it up. I don't think this is going to do it.
Across the shoulders. Driver. She's got it now. Cover here. Oh, man, she's rolling now. No, there's the reversal. Look out. There she goes. Charlotte is going up. Back now inside the ring. Incoming. She counters before it's too late. Look at her go. And no luck against Nia Jax there. This could mean trouble. Nia Jax is in trouble. Oh, second ball. Oh, a shit breaker. It's going to be hard to walk after that. Oh, Nia Jax and a leg drop. Thunderous leg drop. That has got to be it. Three. Nia Jax comes up big with that victory. And here's another look at why the Fatal 4-Way is one of the most unpredictable and entertaining matches in WWE. Almost forgot about this one. Remember this? Oh, I can't believe this. And so it goes. Here is your winner, Maya Jack. What a back and forth battle that was. And it looks to me like our winner is already thinking about the next match. Always one step ahead.